Hello and welcome back to Journey with Rebecca. My name is Rebecca and this is week three of my four week series of stocking your pantry on a budget. So if you have not checked out the first two videos in this series, I will link them below. Please feel free to go ahead and check those out. Before you check this one out, also make sure you are subscribed and hit that notification bell so you are notified the next time I put out a video in this series. Um, so if you have not seen the first two videos in this series, this is um, an easy way to stock your pantry on a budget for winter. So I have given myself a budget of $50 each week for a month in addition to the money that I already spend on my weekly or bi-weekly grocery bill. Um, it is not realistic for everybody to go out and spend five hundred or a thousand or fifteen hundred dollars however much it may be to do a huge grocery haul and winter is going to be here before we know it and this is the time when I like to prepare plan ahead and get some things stocked up in my pantry so this is by no means going to stock you for a year or even for the whole winter this is just a base of essentials to get you started this is not everything that you're going to need in an emergency and this is not everything maybe that will work for your family, but each week I give you an idea of things that you can stock in your pantry just to get you going for the winter. So with all that being said, let's get started. And the first thing on the list th this week, which was also the most expensive total, was coffee. So, also I don't remember if I mentioned, but I bought all this stuff from Aldi. So first thing on the list is coffee. I bought four packages of coffee, two hazelnut, two vanilla, because my husband and I both like to switch it up and have different tastes of coffee. Um, so I got four of those. It's definitely not going to last us a very long time, especially because we drink coffee every day, but it will be a base to help get us started and keep us going. Um, so total for the coffee was $15.80. <clears throat> Again, that was the most expensive thing on this trip. Also, I was within my budget again this week. Um, this is the closest I've been to being at the very top of the budget, though. Um, in previous weeks, I've had a little bit of wiggle room. This week, I did not have a whole lot of wiggle room at all. I think in part due to the coffee. Um, next thing on the list is sauce. So I bought four of them for a total of $5.80. Um, I have more than once called my neighbor and said, oh my gosh, I'm in the middle of making dinner and I don't have any sauce. Can I please borrow some from you? So I feel like this is something that I run out of all the time. So I definitely like to have them stocked on hand. Um, I do have some in my pantry right now, but it doesn't mean that I don't need more. So I bought four to help get me started. Um, but if you use sauce a lot, especially if you have pasta a lot during the winter time, sort of a comfort food, that's definitely something you want to have on hand. Um, all of the pasta was in last week's video. If you haven't checked that out, go ahead and check that out. Um, next on the list is oats. Um, these ones I bought old fashioned oats. You can get steel cut oats, quick oats, um, I don't know. There's all different kinds of oats. Um, and I have all different kinds on hands. This is just what I happened to purchase for this trip. This is great if you're baking or cooking or making any sort of like breakfast, oatmeal, casserole. Great to have on hand. The oats cost $3.85. Um, so the next thing I bought was beans. So I got dark red kidney beans because we like to have chili a lot during the winter months. Um, I also have stocked in my pantry ch actual chili beans. Um, it's really just up to your preference. If you're not going to use beans, then don't buy beans. Maybe buy something else that you, <clears throat> excuse me, would be more apt to use. So I bought four cans of beans for three dollars and four cents. And then I bought um, tomatoes. I bought diced tomatoes that have um, basil, garlic, and oregano in them. So I make this tortellini soup a lot during the winter and it calls for two cans of these diced tomatoes. So I always like to make sure that I have these on hand just in case. Again, 
if you're not going to use tomatoes, don't buy tomatoes. Buy canned corn or buy black beans or buy whatever your family would use. This is just an example of what my family uses. Um, so for the four cans of tomatoes, it was $3.40. The next most expensive thing on my trip for this week was toilet paper. Um, so this toilet paper was $10.99. And we all remember when there was no toilet paper to be had back in 2020. I always make sure that I am stocked with extra toilet paper in our house. Plus, we have four bathrooms in our house. So <laughs> it feels like it takes a lot to keep all of them properly stocked and then to still have some left over when we're done stocking them. So this is something, obviously, that you're going to want to have on hand. Um, Next thing on the list is napkins. Now, napkins are not a necessity, and one of the things that I keep saying I'm going to do is stop buying napkins altogether and just start using cloth napkins because you can get cloth napkins for a pretty affordable price, and if you think about it in the long run, over your lifetime, how much money you will spend on disposable napkins versus a cloth napkin. Um, some people may think that's ridiculous and totally not worth it. It is an idea that I have been toying with, but I just not, I've not done it yet. So I did buy some nap napkins just to have on hand, and the total of these was $2.09. Um, not to mention, you'd be saving the environment a whole lot if you were to not buy paper napkins anymore. Um, anyways. Um, last thing on the list for this trip was tissues. I typically don't buy my tissues from Aldi's. Uh, I did for this trip and just for the sake of these videos. So I only bought two and the total for that was $2.18. Definitely something, tissues are something you want to have on hand, especially during the winter months. So I like to keep those stocked in our bathrooms as well. So that was it for this trip for week three and I spent $47.15. So that's the closest I've gotten so far to being right at my budget. I still had a few dollars to work with, but that was pretty close. Um, so next week is week four and it will be the last week and then I will put everything together and show you everything that you can get with a budget that will help you stock your pantry for the winter in a realistic manner. Um, so I really hope you enjoyed this video and are enjoying this series. Um, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next week. Seriously, Carl?